All righty, turn 76, February 20th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage I can do to Helsin. <clears throat> All right, flip the base, dot base. Sub missed. Shooting its torpedoes at destroyers, which is good. We did not attack it, but that's fine. Amphibious landing, amphibious landing, amphibious landing. All right, night phase is over. Looks like we. So far, have avoided subs for the night, at least. Oh, pick up a bunch of them. Come on, get them, get them. I think we are moving before the subs are. Bombing the, ch the Chinese troops from leaving Wen Wen Chao. I'm not sure how well this will go. The first bombing run did real good, but this one is not. I think they were in move mode, possibly. Still gonna hammer them all the way back and kill as many of them as I can. Trying to move my bombers and hitting different targets each turn to keep them guessing where I'm gonna hit. I don't like cap traps, it's really wearing down my bomber force. These should be all attacking troops to support the attack this turn. Wow. Oh, okay. They were attacking AT units, so got some vehicles, some guns, okay. <coughs> I'm not sure how many uh, squads of troops they actually have in that unit. Phase is over. Hey, we might have got a hit on the sub. Alright, bombing at the Baton airfield. Just to keep his fort building down.
severe storms. Hey, a little disruption on that division. Hammering those troops fleeing Pal and Bam. Nice. Bomb and Clark. a clerk. Obi thirties are at Chung King, huh? Just hammered a uh, mortar battalion. Interesting. Why would he pick there? Maybe because it's clear terrain. And low chance of having fighters there. Am I gonna launch on any of those ships I'm seeing over there at Merrick? My guess is no, of course not. Why would we ever launch attacks from KB? Or even mini KB for that matter. Why would we ever do that? Alright, my initial invasion on, on Kandari. Alright, here we go, Temulo. Come on, boys. There's the big boy. The Indian division. Let's see how well he goes down. Not dropping very well. I don't think I want to take it. Depends on what the fort level is, I guess. I got sports down to level one. We got two to one odds. We got 33 disabled. He got 44 destroyed. There, okay. It's going to take a couple turns. They're low on supply. All right. I was hoping we'd take it in one turn, but it looks like it's going to be a couple, couple days to take this. That's fine. Banzai! <clears throat> Barman at Clark. Just, you know, this, this disruption and fatigue maker and supply consumer.
Alright, oh, we killed one of the... One of the units. Surrenders. 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 Nice. Either the either he had already moved on or he or he was destroyed by bombing. Alrighty. Banzai. We should take this one without trouble. And damn it, they retreated. Okay. Banzai! How much did we beat them up? Oh, pretty good. Okay. Alright. Landing two naval guards at Kandari. We should be enough to take it. We also have some other forces en route there in case we don't have quite enough. But we'll find that out next turn. All right, once production phase is done, I'll pause the video. I'll get some saves off. We'll gather some intel. We'll come back in, into the after action. Alrighty, another decent turn for us. Nothing major happened, but we but nothing bad happened. So you got to count those those ones as good turns. Um, score wise, we went up 125 points. Uh, allies went down six. In the air, looks like the allies lost nothing. We lost five planes to ops. We'll go ahead and take a look at those. Looks like we lost a Sonya, Mary, and Anne, and Nell, and a zero. Hopefully the pilot losses are low. Yes, no losses, one wounded. Okay. That's good for us. In the air, so nothing really coming. Just those float planes coming. Nothing sunk last turn, so that's the same. Us incoming ships for us. 71 days to the Junio. That's our real first major ship we got coming. We got, you know, some destroyers, bunch of subs. A bunch of merchies, some tankers, AKs, a couple of support ships, AV. I saw what an AKE there, an AD, some, some, some bunch of sub chasers. But then the Junio, where is he? There he is. And then about a month after that, we get another a CVO. Okay, that'll work. On the ground, five days, we get three regiments of basically a force, two garrisons and one guards regiment, and two in Japan and one in uh, Cameron Bay. We have nothing destroyed. Let's go ahead and look at aircraft and engine production. Let's see, we got 13, 23, 34, 36 engines produced. On which we spent on three zeros, two sallies, one of everything else. And in case you have not noticed, let me try something here. I want to, I got a new tool. If I can get it to work. Where is it at? There we go. Come on. There we go. Don't know if it's going to show up on the map or not. Nope, I need to add it. Uh, no, it's not going not, not, not to be something simple. I'll have to mess that on downtime. Okay. But, all right. Um, as you can see here, we are over the and the R&D bonus for the HA-35s. So that means anything that we're researching that uses that engine, anytime it takes to get one research point, it'll now get a bonus one. Now, will can will cost me an uh, an uh, engine, but it's well worth well worth it. If you come over here, on a, we'll go. We'll while we're on this kick, I'll just go ahead and show you that in R and D in the air. Let's go up to the top. You can see we have one factory researching the five C zero, which does use the HA thirty five. So 
he's at 5%. So next turn, because he's maxed out, he'll go to 7%, and then 9 and 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 so forth. Our roofies are pumping out R&D. We got one at 24, one at 25, one at 28, one at 29. I thought they'd be done by now, but they're, the dice rolls have not been kind to me, so we're still dragging our feet through those. Go ahead and pop back up here. Go back into the television screen and take a look at production for devices. We built 103 infantry squads, a bunch of engineers, a bunch of support. Then we dropped down engines, mines, some heavy machine guns, basic infantry squads, and so forth. Nothing super exciting. Let's go ahead and pull up combat reporter. We'll take a look at that. At sea, we found some subs. Subs found us. Fired four torpedoes at the at a destroyer and missed. I like that they keep targeting my uh, escort ships and not not the capital ships in there. On the ground, we have combat at many base many places. Temulo, we did our first assault here. We got two to one odds against Fort Level Two, and we did reduce the force to level one. You can see they are. The only thing they really have going for them is, is some terrain, level one force. They're low on supply, if not out. They're low experience, low morale. You guys can tell by the by the losses. We destroyed more than we lost. <clears throat> so I figure one to two more turns of, of attacking, we will finish them off. Also, one of our, uh, our, our last artillery units should have just arrived this turn, so we have a little more bang on for, for it. In Sumatra, we captured Prey Bayumile. I, I don't know. I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure. Um, our tanks shock attacked across the river into depleted units. I mean, we mauled them at Palembang, and then we've been bombing them since and doing some heavy, heavy damage to them. All four units were, uh, were uh, destroyed. So that removes that threat. Leaves us wide open to start our... Um, Capture of all of all of Sumatra. We saw Island we captured against no one. Luganville we captured against no one. Kandari we have we have we have landed there. Took some artillery fire which did no no damage at all. We landed those two naval guards out of Mid, out of Mindanao. They should have enough power to take this. We'll find out next turn. At Clark we bombarded. We lost a couple. We lost a gun. We just disabled some of their squads. And the Brunei, we did a shock attack, mauling the uh, base force there. Unfortunately, it did retreat. We didn't do enough. We didn't get high enough odds to, to make it surrender or just destroy it out, outright. But we did take the base, and we'll take a look at that, see what the facilities there are going to be like. Amphibious, we landed at Kandari. We landed at e, at e Fate. And we landed at Taken Besu Einladen. This is a dot base over here in the DEI. In the air, it was all us except for this random bombing attack by some LB-30s out of Chung, out of Chung, Chung King. I mean, they did a good job hitting um, probably, probably non-combat uh, uh, support on this unit. I'm not sure why he would attack there. I mean, we do. I'm pretty sure we have a no uh, bombing, no strap bombing in in China. Let me pull up my house rules. Uh, yeah, no strap bombing in China until 43. So we can't actually bomb my, you know, oil or resource or industry, anything like that in China yet. So I'm thinking he picked this because it was clear terrain. Um, l very low chance of any enemy fighters here, and I had to have at least some troops there. So he's just kind of trying. So I think he'll start doing this more op more often as long as he has his, his, the supplies, just to start training up his bomber pilots. Unfortunately, we bombed a few few bases, Baton Clark um, bombed a bunch of Chinese troops, a bunch of uh, troops in, in Burma, and some troops down in in Sumatra as well. Sydney reports from the radio interceptions. Sydney Skagway off of Pearl. 
on Andorhan? Is that Russia? Up there in Mongolia, Pearl, and off map. Wow, we got a, we got an off map one. Interesting. <clears throat> wasn't sure wasn't sure you could pick get off map uh, de, uh, de, de, uh, detections. <clears throat> And ops reports. See, uh, we wrote off uh, Sonya resources and some two units upgraded off near near Winchow, which is good. Actually, the most of these guys are probably at at Winchow. We lost some troops landing at uh, at uh, E Fate. Task forces being spotted by enemy. Um, submarine at action looks like we attacked. Two subs, one reported hit. I don't know if I believe that. Sighting, we, a lot of enemy units were sighted, mostly subs. And most of these are probably from, from KB down there in, uh, in the South, South Pacific. <coughs> oh. Replacements, hey, that Al finally got out of the pipe and he's back in the pools. Got a base force uh, taking replacements. We got four ships repaired. These these two, uh, let me see. I think they were all just uh, just a, just some repair. The two e the two escort class ships were the ones that tagged last turn as they had a, an engine. They had one point of engine damage that they couldn't repair just sitting in the port, so we had to put them in the in the shipyard. The other ones are all battle battle uh, damage. That one a truck got mauled during my initial invasion to the south, so he's back up. Refit. We got a DMS going into into refit. Three aircraft down for maintenance. We took five bases. One was an auto flip. This this guy right there. And we captured all of these guys. Three were against no enemy contact, and the Brunei was against a uh, a naval uh, base force. So really, no no one there. Intel, not us. This is all the all the allies' turn, and a handful of aircraft damaged. You see a few. These ones were all crashes. Those are the ones that 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 we lost. And that's it for the uh, combat reporter. Let's go ahead and flip out of there. All right, let's take a look around around the map here. As usual, we'll start up up in Burma. I believe one of our AA units arrived. Yep, right there he is. Nothing, I mean, I don't know, he carries 13.2 millimeter, basically uh, 50 cal machine guns. But these 12.7 centimeter uh, dual purpose should should do pretty good against his airstrikes. So it's just got to wait for the rest of them to arrive. They're all moving up out, out of Mo, out of Mo Mean, as long with some anti-tank guns. I figured might as well get them, get them up, up, up there. We flipped the Pegu last turn, which is very surprising with all those troops at uh, at Rangoon. The only thing I can think of that he, I have more AV than he does. It's the only thing I could I could th 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 think of. Uh, reconning Prom looks like no one's there. Reconning Tang Tungu. Rangoon and Lashio is what my targets are. 180 bomb fighters there. That's just crazy. Chung King has eight bombers, 80 fighters. All right, we unload all the supply ship. Oh, come on. One more turn. All right. Moving down into Malaya. We got everything's here now, finally. This artillery brigade battalion will join the fight next turn. Let's flip it up here so we can see. Um, not not real bad. I mean, fatigue is fatigue. You you accumulate that whether you're fighting or not. Um, disruption is not bad. Tank unit. Yeah, we're in good shape to attack again, and we will. We got troops heading north. There's a division heading for Burma. We're loading these. Come on, these guys aren't one. Uh, all right. Cannon man's going fine. All right. The Takeo's still creeping along on its way. Every day I want to look at him because I don't want to lose him, but I could very easily lo lose him. 
picked up a lot of PT. Let's buy another PT. Sub chasers. Why didn't we attack any of these? Clear skies. We have shit weather here. Heavy rain. Of course, we have heavy rain over our units, so we don't launch anything. Uh, but I didn't notice. Are we sighted? Heavy rain. I doubt it. For up. Oh, that guy spotted. And the carriers are spotted. Okay. Well, we're spotted some. He has at least three subs in the area. I expect to see those coming our way. Um, so we are poised. What's the movement here? We got nine. Okay, cool. We will definitely make our landing spot next turn. So in case you haven't realized, we are invading Java now. We're leapfrogging over Sumatra now that we have Palembang. So we are just keep. We're getting a big push here. I start taking taking bases and chain flipping the scores. So we got mini KB, a heavy force here. You can see two two battleships, two cruisers, four destroyers escorting it, and then the amphibs have a cruiser with them, a handful of dest three destroyers, and a bunch of ships carrying a full division. We will be landing that this next turn. And Borneo, we took Brunei. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oil is half damaged as, as normal, so that's not bad. Everything else looks fine. One point of port damage. All right. The unit retreated here, but we already have men coming there. Is that him there? Yep. We'll be unloading an Air Force Koi there. It's not super powerful, but it has like a six or nine attack strength. Probably be enough to push this guy either south here or or just destroy him out out outright and that'll give us all of the north then we can start worrying about uh, moving around to the side we'll, then we'll come down and take Tarakin then and come down and take Balakpakpan and Sam Samarinda at the same point once we land on some job and start kicking ass there we'll come down the west coast and pick up these other bases as well in the Philippines, nothing going on there. We're, we'll, we are bombarding at Clark just to say hi, just to keep pressure on, We're trying to burn supply. Mindanao is all ours. Coming down into the DEIs, I consider, I know all this is a, is, is a DEI, but this is really what I consider the DEI, this area here. Celebes, Malacca, Serum. Um, we will take this base here. We landed a bunch of troops. They have no supplies, really. And we have... what? Where the hell is the supplies? Nice. So we have no supplies here. This is crazy. Oh. Alright, I'm not sure we're going to do an attack because we have no supplies to support it. Uh, I need to find some supplies and find them quick. I just dumped off supplies here. Oh, I've still got 2,000 loaded here. All right, I found some supplies. These guys will be heading. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, that's probably, they're probably not an eater. Nope. All right, it'll be a couple days before we can take Kandari. Damn it. I didn't realize, I, I should have known because I picked them up out of here. So they had very little supplies left. And I just came right down here. I should have stopped at like Babel or Sarong and picked up at least a you know thousand supplies, but I did not. That's that's my fault. All right, looks like we got our first load of oil out of here. And still picking up units here to move them. All right. It's going down into New Guinea, New Britain, and the Solomon area. Not a whole lot going on here. We're just picking up all these dot ba bases here. We'll grab Reynolds this turn. We should be... Is that guy heading home? Nope, those are base forces. Okay. These guys should be leapfrogging up here. Got some subs heading, heading to, to the ports of Australia. Still a lot of subs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven enemy subs in this air area. He only moved one into the port. We will take E fate 
easily. How much supplies do they have there? 300 tons. No, 1,800, that's plenty. Because we're going to get these guys out of here. All these subs worry me. I know so far we've been lucky and haven't hit them. So but I think we need to get out of here. Let this let the heat kind of ball off. Enemy unit right there. What the hell is that? Interesting. Okay. But yeah, we need to get out of here before we start taking some torpedo hits. We have a lot of high value targets here. All, full KBs here with two battleships. We have another two battleships here. A bunch of amphibious ships here. We're joining, We're making our goal, so we will ev evac from this area, let this cool off a little, then come back in with some ASW ta task force and try to clean some of these subs subs out. We're picking the troops up off uh, this base. Okay, he's, he's stripped. We can move on. Just picking off resources. A lot, of, a lot of task force heading to and from truck. You can see them here. Um, mostly either supplies and I think some of these, this guy is supply. That guy's going to have some base. Nope. Some base forces. I think we just, I think we just dropped off or we're dropping off all those naval guard units we just got. We, I think we got one, two, three, four of them here. So that'll be nice. We'll load these guys up on other other ships. Once they have a, once they have a day or so to rest, some of them those will head south as well. Marianne is nothing going on. We've already shipped right through here. We got the second group. I think there's a nav guard. Yep, one nav guard plus a special base force coming in. Over here to my picket ships. We'll take a look at them. Light clouds, light rain, severe storms. Thunderstorms and moderate rain. All right. Convoys up here hauling supplies and resources and oil. We're in convoy here. I believe we got a few sh convoys loading up with supplies. Convoy at Shanghai is unloaded, dumping them like seventy thousand supplies into into China, which is good. They, we we can we can use it. I see the rails have already moved it all over the place. All right, my, my tank unit is already here. I might move, move them east and just follow them and just start pounding on them. These guys will probably not make it back. I will probably end up just destroying them. I don't know. If I knew where what he was going to do with them, you know, as if we all want that, you know, which way he was going to go and so forth. I would I would know whether I want to destroy them or just let them slowly crawl back, but let's see. So now he has thirteen here again, but I think he just split up units. She's eleven here. See, he heavily reinforced here. My guess is that he split his uh, AA units. One in each. I don't think he's realized that I've moved my tanks again. Are they up here now? Yep. Still want to try to take uh, Cheng Te. I don't know if I'm going to have the force to do it, but we will see. Because that will really put a crimp here since he has so many units forward. 25, 29 units. Now some of these are like thirds and some of these are probably smaller, you know, those some smaller units. But still, that is a huge number of, of units that he has uh, has just deployed forward. But that's about the turn. 
So we're pushing forward again, making some progress, capturing some good some good bases. Um, if you guys enjoyed watching the turn in full with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following this campaign or if you're following the my game against the logic or both and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and click on the, click that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. But until the next turn, you guys have yourself a great day and we'll see you later.